Hey guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video and for visiting my channel. I super appreciate it and I hope that you're gonna enjoy it. So I actually started my channel last week and yeah, like I pulled the plaster off, I made the video, I posted it and I was like, okay, yay! I'm a YouTuber. So I was like, okay, cool. I have to do a get to know me tag. All right, cool. So I watched a whole lot of get to know me videos and I saw that people, um, they actually like, there's questions and there's answers and stuff. So I was like, okay, get questions and then answer them so that people can get to know you. And you know, I was also like, nah, I don't really want to be like, my nickname is, and my favorite color is, and, and, and all that. But I want you guys to get to know me, so I decided that I'm going to do a vlog style get to know, so you get to actually see what I do in my day and stuff. And then I was like, but you can't do a vlog because like, right now it's January and I'm broke. And usually like, in vlog style kind of vibes, people are like going to restaurants and they like drinking wine and they eating nice, nice things, you know, they, they live in. And right now I don't have the money, like, the restaurant is like at the back, back, back of my mind because it's January, so we're just waiting for payday. And then I was like, ah, oh, man, why do you have to be like, oh, you know, like how everybody is, like, uh, your life system, my, I, I have to live a life, my life system, my life, <laughs> you know, like I will vlog my life and what I do in my day and maybe somebody will be able to like relate to it and somebody will be able to find it interesting. I'll probably go restaurant think at the end of the month be like a fine fine gal out there in the world but for now i'm just going to be vlogging my everyday life and um, what it is that i'm doing and stuff because that is the direction that i actually want my page to take i just want to be the girl next door like because that is exactly what i am i'm currently um, at home i live in melbourne i'm in my parents house because i live in my parents house still i haven't moved out so I'm in the lounge, that's why I'm taking this room. I don't have a glass of wine, I'm not like chilling in the house drinking wine because like I said, I live with those people. <laughs> I live with my folks, so I, it, it's not really like a like a wine zone and whatever vibe. But one day, I'll be like vlogging my Saturdays from my apartment that is like all white and I'll have like a big, big glass of wine or like shampoo or something, you know? I'll be doing big, big things one day, but today, I'm in my friend's lounge. So right now, um, yeah, things like biggest things that are going on in my life. Um, my car, I have a car, and my car's paid up. It's been like a long time paid up. I've really been enjoying this whole thing of that. Like I don't have to pay any installment for a mortgage and whatnot. So I've kept my car, and yeah, it's been it's been a great journey. But like it's really giving me problems right now. Like right now, it's actually broken. Has like a pavilion problems, it's overheating, the starter, and like a whole lot of stuff. So I just decided that, like, I don't even want to touch it. <laughs> like, I just want relief, like, I just want to not stress, not worry about it. So it's just parking in the yard right now. Um, and I was actually using a taxi for like the whole week last week, and it's actually been so peaceful. Like, guys, <laughs> oh. Like life was so much simpler back then. I literally paid 15 rand to go from here to town. And then from town to work, it's like 18 rand. So I literally spent, how much is it? 33 rand in the morning and 33 rand in the afternoon to get home. I feel like that is so cheap. If I was to put that into my car, my car would literally just like stare at me back. Like what? You just put 66 rand in me? What do you expect me to do with that? So it's a little bit cheaper like usually i'll put it at well i don't put like petrol every day but in my car it would usually be about like 100 rand a day if i had to like calculate in terms of fuel how much i spend so right now i actually spend like 66 rand using a taxi and when i have a car like sometimes you don't just go from home to work and from work to home you go to like other places and then you end up spending more money because you have all the freedom in the world so this thing of like having a taxi if you think about going to like a certain area you're like oh my god now i must go rank and i must go to this place and this place so you actually just usually you go home you like work to town when you get to town you might walk around a little bit but you're not gonna spend any money because you're not you're not like driving there you're just walking around you're burning calories <laughs> and then you go home so yeah i'm enjoying that and just the fact that like i don't have to worry about it breaking down you know how stressful it is guys 
when you like have a car and then you hear a new sound because you must just know a new sound means money is coming out of your pocket so it's just nice in the taxi if there's a new sound it's not my monkey that's not my circus like jay i'm just chilling you know so i'm really enjoying that but eventually i had to like get it sorted because it's like i know that i'm just like happy <laughs> it still feels nice because it was just like a few days but i know that i'm not gonna enjoy it for like a very long time so i'm actually i'm found the other guy who fixes my car he's actually my neighbor he is a car guy and whatnot so he moved and i've been having such a hard time getting a hold of him like he hardly ever picks up his phone or he's always dead or he's lost so he's a very hard guy to find but luckily he has a pink car <laughs> so it's very hard to miss his car so my dad told me that he actually spotted him around and he saw his car parks most of the time so we went on a hunt today and we actually found his car there so i got to speak to him when he wasn't there but his son was so i got to speak to his son so he said he's gonna come to tomorrow probably gonna take it and fix it um for me that's probably gonna take a few days but yeah i'm i'm gonna be back mobile i'm still getting a hold of this whole vlog style vlog life situation but i feel like you know i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna get better at it and i hope that you're gonna enjoy my content so i will see you guys tomorrow Good morning! Whoa. Good morning! Good morning, people! She is up! It is quarter past six in the morning, and oh, what a beautiful morning! There is my car, I told you all, I'm leaving her behind, I'm leaving the house now, I'm taking a walk off to the bus stop so that I can catch my first taxi. I'm actually late, I'm supposed to actually be in the taxi already. I gave myself an allowance of an hour, 30 minutes to get to work, so it's to take a taxi from town, I'm um, from home to town, then from town to Phoenix. So I'm already late since I'm leaving the house and it's quarter past six because walking to the bus stop is going to take me another 10 minutes. So I'll probably in my, be in my first taxi by half past six. So I'm already like off with my time by a whole 30 minutes. But I'm hoping that when I actually, the taxi that I do actually get from here to town is already full because if it's already full then it's so much better because it just goes to town it just goes straight to town from there but if it's still empty then oh my god that is the worst because he will literally be slowing down every time he sees somebody on the road just to confirm if they're not going and he will go into the flats and yeah man he's just gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that that taxi is full by the time he gets on the road to town so i'm hoping that it's full and there's like this thing that people do that i really don't get hey they'll be like standing on the road and then they okay i get it they're minding their own business and then a taxi will like come by and then they'll be like um we are humble. i mean like are you going and then the person will literally just look at the driver just like mice them and like give no response just nod your head do it and say no i'm not going so that the poor guy can drive off and like carry on about his day he's just trying to fill up his taxi i really don't understand why sometimes we have like that attitude towards um other people but anyways it's so wild to me how I have to budget an hour and a half to get to work when I'm using like public transport because usually when I'm using my car 30 minutes is adequate unless like um, there's an accident because then I use the N2 I live in the south of Durban and I work in the north so I have to use the N2 but usually the N2 moves you know like the traffic is always moving um the only time that's problematic is if like there's an accident and if there's an accident then you are screwed because you will be late if the n2 is at a standstill it is at a standstill and there's nothing you can do because i can't really avoid it because like i said i live in the south and i work in the north but it is okay it's just one of those things that we deal with 
I'm always so nervous though when I take these walks, hey, because there's a lot of dogs in my area. So I'm always just praying that like, Lord, please let me not walk past anybody's house while they are driving out because then their gates will be open. And then, yeah, I'll have to deal with their dog. Yeah, thank God that gate was closed. Now, can you imagine if I walked past that and the gate was open? Yikes. On you, give everything that I see. I want your high love and emotion. Feeling less, I can't get over you. You left a mark on me. I want your high love and emotion. Seven forty-five, only 15 minutes late just got off the taxi and i am about to run in because obviously i'm late so yeah and then boom security <laughs> Oh my gosh. No, I'm seven what eight. I'm not I'm not Okay, I'm not I'm not a man. I'm not a man. I'm not a man. I'm Oh, okay. Anza? No, and you could see. You could see. No, Anna, you mind? Okay, so drama at the gate. Wow, this always happens to me because usually when I have my car, I have everything in my car so I don't forget anything at home. But when I have to leave my car, I usually leave something behind that's important. And this time I happen to leave behind masks because I keep my masks in my cubby hole. And I think we had new securities this morning because they didn't recognize me. So they caused that little drama, but luckily I know the others. So I went into their little security house thingy and they gave me a mask so i could come inside so now i am just walking i think you can see i work in a hospital so yeah the day has started <laughs> okay so first thing i do when i get to work is i head straight for the fridge to go get my h2o i make sure i put a bottle of water in the fridge before i leave for work the day before because durban is so hot guys that you literally need water so get my water and i'll drink that whole bottle and i'll refill and put another one in the fridge and be drinking it throughout the day Okay, hitting the ground running. Um, I got to the wall and I was think was salty, so I'm going to report that to workshop. And then I bump into my friend. Ma peni isa, kunjan. Yapi. Yee pin. Ela mo contract. Aya ngas, dumbo, sauce ngas. Konoxil. I am born, but only about now it's like I am born. I am standard. Yes, you see. Now, me, then you show what Labanto Lababa said. If then Cape would not have a me fee, was fee young and I'll be able to done as fee young and I'll be able to have a fee young and I'll be able to have a fee young and I'll be able to have a fee young and I'll be able to have a fee young and I'll be able to have a fee young and I'll be able to have a fee young and I'll be able to have a fee young and I'll be able to have a fee young and I'll be able to have a fee young and I'll be
No, we've got cool new ones. Yeah, it's the smooth so good. Yeah, it's the smooth so cool leg. Sharp, sharp, my penis. Okay, so a little background to that conversation. Um, we are basically contract workers. We're not permanent as yet. It's me. There's other people. There are a lot of hospital staff. We basically got onboarded at the beginning of COVID to, you know, um, help out because hospitals were like having heavy shortages. So we are still on contracts, and our contracts have just been getting renewed. Um, I think I started in like June 2020. So now it's a year and a half that I'm there and my contract has just been getting renewed and so has everybody else's so right now it's january and our current contracts expire in march so everybody's like super nervous about whether they will get renewed again or not you know there's rumors flying around there's a whole lot of stuff that's happening so everybody's always on edge and the corridor conversation is always so did you hear anything what did you see on the news everybody's just always trying to you know share whatever it is that they've heard and yeah man so i think like the western cape and in the eastern cape some nurses got fired or i think their contracts didn't get renewed so now everybody's saying if they didn't get new renewed what makes us think ours won't get renewed so that's like basically the corridor conversation going on right now but i feel like they just i feel like they will renew it they better renew it but anyways workshop Okay, because we First half of the morning is done, so now it's lunch time, it's just after 12 and I've just been craving this meal the whole weekend so I had to have it when I got to work, iguina and coffee. The weather is so hot guys, I will literally sweat like a crazy person afterwards but you know I gotta do what I gotta do if I want it, I gotta have it. We'll deal with the heat a little bit later. Let me indulge for now. Next week, I'll start packing my lunch, a healthy lunch. But for now, I'm on my fat girl behavior. One of my favorite things about working in a hospital is that I actually have so many friends that are like my mom's age, but I love them. We have so much fun together. So I just came through to come and see one of them. I haven't seen her in a hot minute, so we can have a little catch up session. Hello. So far, shall we be in? I do have no You I to Zoom. Now, I'm not a nurse, guys, or anything like that. I'm part of the admin staff. I make sure that the hospital runs well. So I make sure that we order stock for them and that they always have everything they need. My day has come to an end, guys. Not too bad. Just come out to the balcony to come say bye to a friend. And she wanted me to taste some nuts that she actually made. So I came through to pop some nuts and then say some byes and then home time. I'm 
I'm back home guys and you know this thing about how I was saying I'm saving so much money using public transport what a bunch of fake news because I saw these um, earrings as I was walking to my taxi and I saw this cover and then I bought them the earrings were like 25 rand and the cover was 70 rand so I still find ways to spend money if it's not going on petrol it's still going somewhere so yeah I don't think I'm saving much money and I need to work on that <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in guys please don't forget to like comment subscribe share do the things guys let's grow this channel thank you